What's up, everybody? And today we are reacting to top 10 biggest destroyer on the planet. This is by US Military News. You can check out the original video if you don't want to hear me waffling over the top of it in the description, as always. Uh, before we get started, there wasn't a video this morning. As you can probably hear, I am sick. I've got a really sore throat. I don't feel the best. I'm feeling much better than I did yesterday. Um, I also have a cut on my nose because my three-year-old baby girl um, whacked me in the nose with her plastic giraffe, uh, which wasn't very fun. But I'm here to enjoy it. I enjoy making these videos, and I enjoy watching them with you and learning some stuff. I feel like we've learned so much recently about the, the military in general when it comes to um, ships and aircraft and weaponry and stuff like that, and I'm really genuinely enjoying it. It's, it was a big worry for me coming back to YouTube that I wasn't going to get back into the routine and enjoy it but i'm genuinely enjoying it and i think that is probably the most important thing so please bear with me please uh understand that yes i do sound like shit but i'm gonna try my best guys okay oh <laughs> uh, okay let's shut up let's put this up and let's watch the top 10 <laughs> that sound like shit <laughs> i've got me water guys okay Losing me voice. Trying my best. <clears throat> oh, look at that big boy. Look at all them seamen. Top 10 biggest destroyers in the world. Top 10 biggest destroyers in the world. He missed the S in his title. Look at his title. It says big, biggest destroyer on the planet. He missed the S on it. Mate, spell check. Don't want to be that guy. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to be that guy. But I guess in I am. naval terminology, a destroyer is a fast, maneuverable, long endurance warship intended to escort larger vessels in a fleet, yeah. convoy, or battle group. Oh my God, and look defend at that. them against powerful short range. Look at that. Look at that. We've got two aircraft carriers here. And then we've got a bunch of fighty boys back here, ready to pounce. Ready to pounce if they need it. Unbelievable. Attackers. U.S. Military News Channel lists some of the world's biggest destroyer ships based on full load Whoa. displacement. Looks so sharp. These new style where it's got like no railings on it, it's very minimal and looks very kind of angular. Kind of cool, aren't they? These new style. I like them a lot. Number this is 10. The older ones. Oodaloy 2 class destroyer. Oodaloy. Oodaloy. It sounds like a yodeling. The Oodaloy 2 is the biggest destroyer class of the Russian Navy. Russia. The Oodaloy 2 is an upgraded version of Oodaloy 1 class anti-submarine destroyers and has a full load displacement of 7,900 tons. That's the a full Oodaloy load. 2 class integrates anti-ship missile system, Kinzhal self-defense, SAM systems, Kashtan Seawiz, anti-submarine torpedoes, and anti-submarine rocket launchers. Yeah, it's got a lot of weaponry. The destroyer is equipped with a deck and hangar for two helicopters. The uh, let's go back to that last picture again real quick. You're looking on there. It, it has got a lot of weaponry, that. And it, oh, my God. Look at that. Very nice-looking ship, though, to be fair. Definitely, like more of the older school rather than that like i was saying that new like angular version combined gas turbine and gas turbine fitted to the vessel enables a maximum cruise speed of 32 knots yantar shipyard kalingrad was initially contracted to build three Udaloy 2 vessels but Udaloid. only had the lead ship admiral chabinenko was commissioned in january 1999 the other two destroyers were scrapped because of funding issues I feel like you don't usually get this like scaffolding kind of like thing looking anymore on top of them, which is obviously for a lot of like Intel. I feel like you don't really get that as much anymore as what you used to do on modern ships. Yes. Still a cool ship though. Russian. Here we go. Number nine. Number nine. Sovremeni class destroyer. The other Russian one? The Sovremeni class destroyers are one of the biggest destroyers in service with the Russian Navy. Severnaya Verve Shipyard built a total of 21 Sovremeni ships, nine of which. That's a decent amount. Which are in service with the People's Liberation Army, Navy, and Russian Navy. That's a that's a decent amount right there. That's that's not. You know what I mean, like, I feel like people don't realize how little amount of ships there actually are outside of the U.S. Do you know what I mean? 
We watched a video of the, the aircraft carriers, and there was barely any. Remini class destroyer has a standard displacement of 6,600 tons, while its full load displacement is 8,480 tons. That's a big load. The vessels are integrated with arms such as the P-270 Mosket anti-ship cruise missiles, still surface-to-air missile, four 130-millimeter guns, four AK-630 Gatling guns, Holy. two RBU-1000 ASW rocket launchers, and two twin 533-millimeter torpedo tubes. Holy, that's a lot of firepower, that, isn't it? My God. Sovereign features a steam turbine propulsion system integrating GTZA 647 steam turbines. You know, look at the smoke coming off of that. Oh, carbon emissions, that thing's pulling off. Holy. It's nearly as much as a friggin' Ford F-150. <laughs> Four boilers and two fixed pitch props. Resulting in a top speed of 32 knots, the landing deck of the vessel accommodates a single helicopter. That's pretty cool. So it's a big boy then. Give us number eight. Two Russian ones so far. Number eight. Type 45 Daring Class Destroyer. That looks sick. That's more modern, you can tell. The Type 45, also known as the Daring Class, is a new class of guided missile destroyers built by BAE System Surface Ships for the UK Royal Navy. So, um, again, this like tower thing here, it's not got that scaffolding look like it used to. But I'm wondering if this is just, you know, trying to replace it in some way. It's obviously all soul, it's all uh, radar stuff and comms stuff, right? But this looks like it's that transition into the more angular version of, of the the warships. But at the same time, they've still got like the rails so that all the sea men and women, all the sea people, can get, <laughs> all the Navy personnel, I'll say that, can get on top. I was like, yeah, I've got something, yeah, it's like a dandruff. You got dandruff, guys. I promise. There's something in the air. Oh, it's flying away. Anyway, um, yeah, looks like, looks like a good ship. The Type 45 destroyers are the biggest and most advanced warships in the Royal Navy fleet. The first Type 45 destroyer, HMS Daring D32, was commissioned in July 2009. Relatively new. And the sixth new. and last vessel, HMS Duncan D37, was inducted into service in September 2013. So that's if you if you remember we watched a video not long ago and it had HMS Duncan in it. You can go watch them videos if you want. HMS Daring has a full load displacement of 8,500 tons and can carry a crew of 190. Interesting. The Type 45 class is armed with Sea Viper air defense system, Silver A50 vertical launching system, Harpoon anti-ship missiles, Mark 8 naval gun, two Orlikan 30 millimeter guns. Phalanx Sea Whiz, and general purpose machine guns. That's the one I shot. That's the one I shot. Right there. That's the exact one I shot with the same um, ammunitions bin right here. It's the same one I shot right there, guys. It was fun. It was, it was a good bit of kit right there. I shot that weapon. Not that exact one, but who knows? Maybe it was. Maybe it got replaced onto this, onto this ship, but yeah. The integrated electrical propulsion of the vehicles lot. provides a top speed of 27 knots. A lot of firepower. Lots of firepower on that. Lots of firepower. All right. Two Number for the seven. Russians. Two Congo for the, class uh, one for the UK. This looks cool. It looks big. It looks tall. It doesn't look how tall The Congo it looks. class guided missile destroyers with a 9,500 ton full load displacement are comparable in size with cruisers. The warships are operated by the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force and integrate a highly advanced Aegis combat system. You would expect Japan, Japan to have a good naval uh, base. Good naval kind of like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Stability. Good naval stability, considering it is an island at the end of the day, and they're right next to China, which is always going to cause yourself some issues, um, depending on who you are. Um, yeah, it's good that they have a, a, a good destroyer like this. Very tall, and it's got that scaffolding again, um, kind of designed for comms on the top. Very interesting. The lead destroyer in the class, Congo DDG-173, was commissioned date. in March 1993. 1993, and so it's not that old. the fourth and last ship, Chokai DDG-176, was commissioned into service in March 1998. So they're not that old, these ships. They're not that old. The Congo's main weapon systems include vertical launch systems, yep. anti-ship missiles, 127mm rapid-fire cannon, phalanx Sea Whiz, and two triple torpedo tubes. So the Sea Whiz, 
seems to be on both the Japanese ship and the British ship. The destroyer is powered by a gas turbine propulsion system, providing a top speed of 30 knots. Okay. It's a good one. I like that one. All right. Number six. Arlai Burke class destroyers. Ooh. This looks older. This looks much older. Look at this design on the front here. You've got kind of like the old kind of like um, eagle nest type design when it comes to this, where the comms are, the radar is and all that stuff on top. Um, looks like it looks like an older ship. That I'm, I'm thinking 80s. I'm thinking 80s for that one. Maybe 70s. No, DDG 80s. Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyer is the first destroyer class to field the Aegis combat system. The first Arleigh Burke class destroyer entered service with the U.S. Navy in 1991. 91? It looks much older. It's the same age as me, that. It's old as shit. Am I that old, am I? Jesus Christ. I'm losing it. Destroyer class is built by Bath Ironworks and Huntington Ingalls Industries and currently encompasses 66... Bath Ironworks, isn't that in Maine? I lived in Maine for seven years, so... Pretty sure that's the one in Maine. Destroyers in three versions... Namely, Flight 1, Flight 2, Flight 2A, and Flight 3. Okay. Construction of Flight 3 versions is currently underway. The Flight 2A ships have a full load displacement of 9,648.4 tons and Flight 3 displacement of 9,800 tons. It definitely looks like an older design, but again, we know from aircraft and we know from all sorts of different bits of kit that just because it's older and has an older design and looks a bit older, doesn't mean it can't do the job. Do you know what I mean? The Arleigh Burke class, Flight 2A, are armed with standard missile, vertically launched ASROC missiles, Tomahawk missiles, evolved Sea Sparrow missiles, MK-46 torpedoes, Phalanx Sea Whiz, and MK-45 gun. Four LM-2530 gas turbines driving two shafts allow the vessel to sail at a maximum speed of more than 30 knots. So is, is an older looking ship? Being 32 years old, but um, obviously can do the job because they hear the amount of firepower that thing's got. It's unreal. I mean, they are destroyers. They're meant to have that amount of firepower, aren't they? Let's be honest. Number five. Oh, that looks old. Kid class destroyer. That looks old. It looks like an oil rig on a ship with all the, 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 the towers and stuff. Kid class destroyer is a class of four destroyers in service with the Taiwan Navy. That looks old. The Kid class have a full load displacement of 9,783 tons. Each ship can complement a crew of 363 Marines and is equipped with modern combat wow. capabilities That's and a lot communications of to serve as a task force flagship. That's a lot of Marines to be on a ship. The Kid class's weaponry is mainly composed of two 127 millimeter guns. Phalanx Seawiz, two Mark 32 triple tubes, surface to air missiles, and long range anti ship missiles. The destroyer support operations care. of up to two helicopters and can attain a top speed of 33 knots. It didn't give us a it didn't give us an age. That's all that's gotta be old that one, ain't it? That looks much older. It didn't give us an age for that one then. Number four, Atago class destroyers. Okay, this looks relatively modern and new. Um the design looks new, very angular, like you're seeing with a lot of the newer ships. Um, I guess, again, I'm wondering, because I've seen pictures of, of ships without that kind of tower for comms on top. I'm wondering when they're going to start, like, moving over to other comms or whether that's a necessary thing now. Whether it's still, like, something that they've got to keep forever. Well, forever. A full forever. load displacement of more than 10,000 tons and Ooh. a crew carrying capacity of 300 Marines makes the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force operated Atago class guided missile destroyers one of the world's biggest destroyers. Yeah. The Atago class is an advanced version of the Congo class and measures 165 meters long. The, the thing is with these destroyers is you've got to think about maneuverability as well. Like that's a massive thing. So... <laughs> I'm going to get a lot of comments on this. Size doesn't necessarily matter. It's how much punch it can give, right? And how much it can move about and be tactical. Speed, acceleration, uh, maneuverability, um, the amount of uh, firepower it's got. Because I bet there's, there's smaller destroyers that would dis that would absolutely obliterate something like this. Do you know what I mean? Because it's so big. Imagine how long it takes for this thing to turn around compared to something that's a bit smaller. 
First destroyer in the class, Atago DDG-177, was commissioned in March 2007, and the second warship, Ashigara DDG-178, entered service with the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force in March 2008. Weapon nice systems aboard the Atago class constitute Aegis Combat System, MK-41 VLS, two 20mm cannons, Mark 45 127mm gun, anti-ship missiles, and Type 68 triple torpedo Damn. tubes. I think this might be the best looking ship so far. The destroyer features a landing spot and hangar for one helicopter. Its gas turbine propulsion system provides a maximum speed of 30 knots. Yeah, they're all around 30 knots, aren't they? All of them. Number three. Ooh, that's cool. Sijong, the great class destroyer. That one's a cool looking one, isn't it? A modern-ish one as well. You're looking at late 90s, early 2000s, I think that one. Um, it's Sijong, but... It, and, Obviously, it's not American, I'm presuming, uh, with a name like that. But it's got the same design as this tower here as the American one. Probably Chinese. The Sijong Daywang right? class is a new class of three guided missile destroyers operated by the Republic of Korea Navy. Oh, Korea Navy. Sijong class warships are the biggest destroyers in the Republic of Korea Navy fleet and are the only Korean destroyers Whoa. carrying the Aegis combat system. I mean... It, it, Looks nice, that, doesn't it? It's massive, isn't it? Again, size isn't everything, though, is it? Let's be honest. Each vessel has a full load displacement of 10,600 tons and complements more than 300 crew members. Yeah. The Sijong, the great class destroyers, carry an MK-45 naval gun, goalkeeper close-in weapon system, anti-ship, anti-aircraft missiles, as well as anti-submarine rockets and torpedoes. Mm. The destroyers offer landing facilities for two helicopters and have Two a combined gas and gas turbine propulsion system, ensuring a maximum speed of 30 knots. Interesting. That's the cool. I like that one. Cool design. Korea. Number two. Whoa. Type 055 class destroyer. That looks like an old picture, that, doesn't it? That looks like an older picture. A full load displacement of approximately 13,000 tons makes the Type 055 class... Where's all the weapons? It's got the two cannons here on the top. Other than that, you can't really see anything else. Starting to get rid of this classic tower log. You can't, I don't see any other weapon. Maybe these over here. Maybe over here, something internal that fires out. Class destroyers, the largest and most capable surface combatants being constructed by Jiangyang Shipyard and Daylane Shipbuilding Industry Company for the People's Liberation Army Navy. The first ship in the class, Nanchang Destroyer, made its public presence during the People's Liberation Army it's Navy's new. 70th anniversary parade held in April of 2019. That's new. Each Type 055 vessel features a stealth hull measuring 180 meters long and 20 meters wide. It's a it's nice design. All right, okay, so we've got surface, we've got these like, I forgot what they're called, surface to air missiles, is that what they're called? Uh, we've got them as well. Okay, so there's a little bit more there than I thought. Combined gas turbine and gas turbine propulsion ensures a maximum speed of 30 knots. The type are, they, are they weapons on the back there? Let me go back a tiny bit. Gas turbine and gas turbine propulsion. See these four things, two on each side back here. I don't know if you'll be able to see my cursor. Maybe they're weapons. And ensures a maximum speed of 30 knots. The Type 055 destroyer is armed with an HPJ-38 130mm dual-purpose naval gun, That's a big gun. an HPJ-11 close-in weapon system, HHQ-9 surface-to-air missiles, YJ-18 anti-ship land attack cruise missiles, CJ-10 land attack missiles, Damn. and anti-submarine torpedoes. That's a, that's a nice ship. New one. Very new. All right. Number one. Whoa, look at DDG that. 1000 Zumwalt class destroyers. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. This modern design, the stealth design. Looks unbelievable, doesn't it? It looks so cool. Looks like something out of Dune. The Zumwalt class multi mission destroyers are the world's biggest ever destroyers with a full load displacement of 14,564 tons. So weird looking. Each Zumwalt class destroyer has a length of 186 meters width of 24.5 meters and can complement a crew of 158. 
The advanced surface combatants are equipped with stealth features and can conduct littoral operations, Whoa. as well as anti-air, anti-submarine, and anti-surface warfare cuts missions, through the water so sailing easily. at a speed of 30 knots. The vessels are armed with an 80-cell vertical launch system, two 155-millimeter advanced guns. Why are they? Why were they, like, taped off like that? And two 30-millimeter close-in gun systems. Critical technologies such as an all-electric integrated power system and a damage control system Whoa. are also incorporated into the vessel. Aviation facilities aboard the vessels include a large flight deck and a hangar. That's really cool. It's a very strange looking ship in it. Very minimal, very stealth-esque. Reminds you of like the F-22, F-35, kind of like, like hard lines. Do you know what I mean? Very strange. Kind of cool. Like you can you can barely see the windows on it. That's so weird. So weird. That is a strange looking ship, but also pretty damn badass. Great video, as always, by US Military News. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to watch it without me waffling over the top of it. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. We learned some good stuff on it, didn't we? That was fun. Other than that, if you uh, don't mind liking, commenting, subscribing, it helps with that mysterious YouTube algorithm. And until next time, I love you all. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.